beautiful summer and we're seeing green, but I'm ready for it to be fall and those leaves to change color. We are. We're getting there. We're actually starting to see a little more color out there. I even noticed I was over at Spring Lake Park earlier today and I noticed that uh, we're starting to see a little more color up there on the hill in uh, North Mankato. So things are beginning to change. I think the warm weather may be holding things back a little bit, but I think next week we're really going to see some progress here. But we have had a little bit of increase to the 25 to 50 percent uh, up around Redwood Falls toward Montevideo and Granite Falls. Some color there and uh, more color across parts of central and northern Minnesota too. Average here late September to mid-October. So we still have some time to go, but if you look closely, it's one of my favorite drives on Highway 14 when you're heading down toward 169 from North Mankato into Mankato. Starting to see a little bit of color there on the uh, camera. And this is always a, an incredible spot for some fall color. So it's uh, coming along slowly. Let's talk a little bit about this. It's a beautiful summer-like day. Fall starts on Saturday, but 83 in Mankato, 87 in Redwood Falls, 88 in Marshall now, 82 in Slayton. It is a warm one. We have a couple more days like this to go. Although it will be a couple degrees cooler, I think, each day as we head to uh, Wednesday, Thursday into Friday. But it's still going to be mild. As we get into the weekend, that's what everyone's talking about. And we do need rain. The drought situation continues to worsen. And this is our best chance that we've had in a, quite a while. And you can see that low going to come out of the Rockies and just kind of park here. We have an area of high pressure here that's going to hold everything and uh, keep this from moving out quickly. So it's going to hang around for quite a while. We're looking at the potential for a half inch to an inch of rain. That's our best case scenario. Two other possibilities, depending on the amount of lift we can get with the system and uh, really where the track of the storm goes, we could see it move to a spot where we just get some scattered isolated showers, maybe a few thunder showers, and the rain is more localized and not as heavy. However, depending on the moisture, there's also a possibility that we could get some heavier rain. So we're going to keep a close eye on this. This is preliminary, but kind of what we think is going to happen. And I didn't go with numbers here because we're just too many days away to get specific at this point. But we're talking the uh, bright blue into the like magenta ish colors. Potential for a half inch to an inch of rain there with more further west across the Dakotas. So stay with us as we get closer. We'll have a much better idea as to how much rain we're thinking where the heaviest rain will be, but uh, this far out, there's just too much uncertainty to be specific. As we take you through tonight, 69 by 10 p.m. tomorrow morning, 59 as you uh, get ready to roll. Tomorrow, midday, 77. It's going to be another 80 to 83 degree day tomorrow. A great day with sunshine. There may be an isolated shower or thunder shower that pops up somewhere across southern Minnesota or northern Iowa tomorrow afternoon. Not expected to be a real big deal. 59, clear wind south at 5 to 15 tomorrow. Sunny and warm, 83. Again, that isolated late afternoon, early evening thunderstorm is possible. Not terribly likely, but there could be one or two across the region. 79 Thursday, 75 Friday with late day and nighttime storms possible. Then mostly cloudy, scattered rain, much cooler into the weekend. And again, the rain could be heavy at times. And then as we take you into next week, more fall-like weather with highs in the upper 60s to low 70s. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.